So it's the last week of September, and while some people are getting into holiday spirit, you know, that's the that's spooky Halloween. We need to get yeah. into the movies with that, right? Well, here's the thing: is it's not it's not time yet. It's not it's too not early time. for Halloween. Almost. Well, listen, because we've got two really great sci-fi movies. Okay. Or hopefully, one really great one. One I'm hoping is really great. Uh, but yeah, like last week of September, we're talking sci like science fiction. You love science fiction. Yes. You know? What? Do, I don't really understand Star what you Trek. watch. Yes. It's You're close. Right oh, here. you got to do yeah. that. No, I don't. I can't remember. Nanu, I'm, a, nanu. I'm more of a Star Wars kind of guy. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Science fiction, tell us a couple movies that you've picked out yeah. for us. Today. So there is one that you can watch right now. Um, I'm talking about two. One right now that you can watch on Hulu. Uh, it is called, uh, sorry, I have to stop and think about it every time. It's called No One Will Save You. And uh, it follows a woman who lives by herself in this kind of small town. And she, uh, it's played by Caitlin uh, Dever, she one night wakes up to uh, an alien invasion. Hmm. And this, it's a really interesting movie. I watched it this weekend. It's, it, there's not a lot of talking. There's just a lot of like weird sounds. Uh, and a, it's very tense because of that. You know, there's not like a lot of dialogue to break everything up. So she, it's, it's they're kind of pushing it as a, it's a home invasion movie, but what if the invaders were aliens? So it's a horror movie, sci-fi because of the aliens. Yeah, I would say more sci-fi. And there are like, without giving too much away, you see the aliens quite a bit, mm. which is a lot of fun. And they look awesome. They are very like old school, 50s and 60s, like gray aliens, and it's awesome. It's very tense. There's like different types of aliens. There's like a kind of another like subplot going on about why she lives alone, why no one in the town talks to her, mm -hmm. and so it's because a lot. She's an alien. No, that's not, I'm, that's not it. Okay. <laughs> if you guess it, I don't know if I can keep it straight. <laughs> like, oh no, you, you guess. <laughs> no, but, but it's not it's, it. it's really good. It's and on Hulu. You can watch it right now. What's the name of it again? It's called <laughs> No One Will Save You. I have to okay. probably, like, keep thinking about it. On really, Hulu. really cool. Like really, just kind of flew under the radar. But uh, check that out. So okay, and you've got another. I got one. another one this Friday. I'm excited about this one. Um, it, there's a movie called The Creator that's hitting theaters. Uh, this is. Um, you're not a Star Wars fan, are you? It'll, maybe you've seen the Godzilla movie from a couple years ago. Um, this is a movie by Gareth Edwards. I did see that. Yeah, he, it's like uh, my kid. Yeah, so like Godzilla, you know, he did Godzilla, then he did Rogue One, which is an awesome Star Wars movie. But he hasn't done much, and so now he's back with this science fiction movie called The Creator, which looks incredible. That's kind of the whole push. Is like. It's, it's a sci-fi world, like, to beat all other sci-fi worlds. There's great effects. Anyway, so uh, um, John David Washington, Denzel Washington's son, plays uh, the lead character. He is this guy who's been in this battle with AI and robots. He has to save something that could win the war. Turns out it is a robot child. So kind of like that idea of... I'm I'm saving my enemy to save everyone else. Mm. Um, and this kind of is thing. out in theaters this coming this weekend. This Friday, yeah. Okay. So check it out. I'm excited. I'll be there. If you see me, say hello. You and know. get his autograph. Yeah, he signed. Sure. JD mm -hmm. Roberts gets uh, signs lots of autographs. I do. I do. By the way, do you think there are aliens out there? Uh, listen, I don't want to get too Tom DeLonge on you, but maybe. Wasn't um, there something that came out this weekend that said a hundred? million light years away they found life probably I think um, they said that sure. this weekend uh, I don't know. but hey you know what if you still want to talk more sci-fi we have a video right now most underrated sci-fi movies on the getting real channel on YouTube also check us out on TG 11 plus there you go JD Roberts Shining with getting guys. real we appreciate you bringing us some sci-fi yep movie recommendations mm -hmm. great stuff You're welcome.